Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and I'm back again. I'm going to be doing another top 10 Pokemon video today. Last time I did top 10 Pokemon songs, and I actually really enjoyed making that video, so I'm back again doing another one. And today I'm just going to be doing top 10 Pokemon. My top 10 favorites from all the Pokemon games, and um, I it's really tough again, just, just like the uh, song one. There's a million different options, a million different good Pokemon that I could choose, and... Uh, honestly, I would have made this list like a top 25, but I'm not trying to make this like a 30 minute long video So I had to narrow it down to a top 10. It was pretty tough coming up with this list But I think I got it honed down. So let's go ahead and get started with the countdown number 10 Garchomp So we're starting off the countdown with a really strong Pokemon Garchomp is a dragon ground type from the fourth generation games introduced originally in diamond and pearl and I just love Garchomp's design along with the fact that he's just a really strong, reliable Pokemon. He's fast, he's got a lot of power behind him. Um, it's the Land Shark Pokemon. He's just got a cool theme. And Garchomp was also the kind of the, the final boss Pokemon of the game, um, as it was Cynthia's strongest Pokemon from the Elite Four champion. So um, that's why Garchomp comes in at number 10. Let's move on. Number nine, Scizor. So I got Scizor here at number 9. Scizor is a bug steel type Pokemon that was introduced in Gold and Silver 2nd generation. And Scizor is actually the evolved form of Scyther from the original 151. And if I did a top 10 for the Gen 1 Pokemon, Scyther would probably be on that list. But it's evolved form. Scizor is one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. And probably my favorite steel type from the series. Number 8, Gyarados. Everybody always catches those Magikarp, runs into them all the time when they're swimming or when they're fishing. But, you know, just train it up to level 20. Just level 20, that's it. It's not even that hard. Just train it to level 20 and you got yourself an absolute beast known as Gyarados. Um, you're going to see on this list that there's a lot of water types and this is the first one showcased. I love water types, that's my favorite type of Pokemon. And uh, Gyarados is definitely one of those uh, Pokemon that I love. So, got Gyarados at number 8. It's an absolute beast from Generation 1. And it's still really good to this day. I think Gyarados is like extremely viable still um, for competitive at least all the way up until 7th gen. So it's one of those Pokemon that's been really good for a really long time. It's got an awesome design. It's just an overall badass Pokemon. Number 7, Waylord. We got another water type here coming in at number 7, that being Waylord. It's just a base water type from Generation 3. And Waylord is just an absolute beast. I mean, he's not very good for battling, uh, not very good statistically, but he's just a massive Pokemon. And uh, that's why I like him. I just like the idea of having a whale Pokemon. I think it's cool. And I've always thought he has a cool name, that being Whale Lord. Just a cool name to say. And uh, it's always been, even though it's not like a strong Pokemon per se, it's just always been one of my favorites to always catch one of those and, uh, and have one for your playthroughs, especially back in the original Ruby and Sapphire games when this uh, Pokemon was introduced. So I love Whale Lord. He's just a big blob of, uh, of blue whale and uh, a really fun Pokemon to mess around with. Number six. Slowbro. We got third straight water Pokemon coming here at number six, that being Slowbro, Generation 1, one of the original 151 Pokemon. Um, I love Slowbro just because of the derpiness of him. He, like, you just look at his face and he just looks so derpy. And I think that's just hilarious to me. There's a lot of Pokemon like that that I really like, so Slowbro is one of those. And the thing about Slowbro is he's actually really good for battling. Um, Slowbro, I believe, is an OU right now. And he's just a really tanky Pokemon that can hit hard if you set up with him. So even though he looks derpy and uh, not very you know, powerful, Slowbro is actually a pretty strong Pokemon that can pack a punch. That's why I really like him. Plus his name is absolutely amazing. I mean, Slowbro, it's, it's a perfect name. Slowbro. Number five, Blaziken. All right, guys, we're inside the top five now. And we got our first starter Pokemon to be shown on the list. And that is Generation 3's fire type Blaziken from Ruby and Sapphire. Blaziken, you could argue, is the strongest starter of all time. I believe in Generation 7, I think since like Generation 5, Blaziken has been Ubers, which is pretty insane for a starter type to be that high of a tier in competitive Pokemon. And Blaziken is just an absolute beast even for like the regular playthrough of the game. I'm pretty sure you could just get a Blaziken in Pokemon Ruby, and that's like the only Pokemon you need. You could sweep right through the game. So um, Blaziken is an insanely strong Pokemon being a firefighting type. Um, plus that speed boost ability it gets for competitive is just makes it insanely good. So I always love Blaziken's design as well. It's my favorite starter from generation three and it makes the top five. Number four, Dragonite. 
So I got another generation one Pokemon here in the top four. I love the first three generations. That's most of this list here. I believe there's, I don't even think there is any Pokemon from generations five, six, and seven on this list. Not saying that they're bad. It's just, I'm a big fan of the original three generations in terms of like the Pokemon designs. Um, so that's basically the majority of those lists other than I think Garchomp at 10. So um, with that being said, a little bit of a tangent there. We're talking about Dragonite here, number four. Uh, Generation 1 Pseudo Legendary, a Dragon Flying type, the first Dragon type Pokemon uh, ever introduced, and still an absolute beast to this day. I believe Dragonite has been OU for every single generation of Pokemon, so similar to Gyarados, just been really good for a really long time. I also like Dragonite because it's got a really basic and simple design um, that I think a lot of Pokemon lack in like you know the current games. They're way too complicated. I think simple Pokemon are the best. And uh, Dragonite, not only is it very simple design, it's also very, very strong. So Dragonite comes in at number four. Number three, Azumarill. So I got another water type Pokemon to start off the top three, and that is Azumarill from Generation 2, the evolved form of Meryl. And Azumarill actually got a new typing in Generation 6. It acquired the Fairy type, and when it did acquire that typing, it became an absolute powerhouse for battling. I believe Azumarill is OU, and it's been OU since 6th Gen. Um, when you take its ability huge power, it just becomes an absolute tank of a Pokemon, and it can hit really hard uh, with a couple of, you know, have, sta have stab fairy moves and water types, so. Um, Azumarill is a Pokemon I've liked for a really long time, but once it got a buff in Gen 6, then it really became one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Number two, Charizard. So here at number two, we got a pretty basic choice uh, with Charizard, but... Charizard is the original starter that I went with in my first playthrough of Pokemon way back in the 90s and is still one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Charizard being a fire flying type, it was the starter from the Generation 1 games. It's an absolute classic Pokemon. I would say if you told someone who's never played Pokemon before to name five Pokemon, I'd be willing to hedge my bet that um, Charizard would be one of the five Pokemon that they named, probably along with like Pikachu and maybe some of the other original starters like Venusaur or Blastoise, but Charizard's probably one of the top five most iconic Pokemon in the entire series. Um, you know, it's been in, you know, Super Smash Bros, and um, it's just a, just a really famous Pokemon, but doesn't mean that I can't have it in my top two, and it's my second favorite Pokemon of all time. Absolutely love Charizard. He's great. Number one, Quagsire. So this one's pretty easy for me. I actually have a very definitive favorite Pokemon. The rest of the list was pretty hard to uh, come up with, but I knew what my number one spot was going to be, you know, right from the idea of getting this video, and that is Quagsire. Generation 2, introduced in Gold and Silver. It's a water ground type Pokemon. This thing is literally the epitome of a derpy looking Pokemon. It's got probably the most simple design of anything on this list, and that includes like Slowbro and Dragonite. Um, Quagsire is just one of those Pokemon that I just really like, and I'm not really sure why. Um, not the best for battling. Uh, it's got some, you know, different niches it can go with. Um, it can be, you know, a utility Pokemon. It can be defensive. Um, it's got a really good typing for defense, being uh, water ground. So, uh, Quagsire is, is just, for some reason, my favorite Pokemon of all time, and it's really not even close. It's, like, by far my favorite Pokemon. I never really understood why. I always used to use them in my playthroughs of Gold and Silver, so that might be the reason. It's just a Pokemon that brings a lot of nostalgia to me. Um, but it was really easy for me to pick this top spot, that being Quagsire, number one by far. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want me to do any more top 10 Pokemon videos, I can. I've been having a little fun doing these over the last week, so I'll continue doing them if the uh, comments say I should. But I appreciate you guys watching this one. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon is in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.